whichever format it is, it's important that the bowlers come in tandem and bowl because one gets you wickets, but the, from the other end, if someone dries up the runs, it, the job just gets easier. And that's what Meghna Singh did in last game. We saw that she didn't get a wicket there, but she was extremely economical with the um, ball. And that what that's what helped the other bowlers to come in to burst into the scene and get those early wickets. So in a especially in a format like that of ODI, uh, Thirush, how important it is for a bowler to come in with those economical overs because you know that um, probably we knew here that Sri Lanka's batting unit was struggling. But even in case when there are those strong oppositions out there, the behemoths of batting, these things become very important and it's a positive for India. Uh, certainly a big positive for India because it's just not uh, how they're bowling well in tandem, but they're also bowling well. Like rightly mentioned, uh, it is important that how we, we talk about a partnership and batting, we have to mention the kind of partnership that we've had in bowling. Uh, and uh, Harman has operated eight bowlers and eight bowlers have done well uh, whenever an opportunity was given to them. And we also yeah. did see... Um, uh, in an in inclusion of Shafali Verma into the bowling lineup, which we generally don't see, and then uh, a few overs from uh, Harleen Diol. So that way, what happens is the combination, the Indian batting and the bowling seems a lot deeper, and a lot of options are there. So that way, bowling partnership is very important, and um, and also a lot of credit to Harman in trying to operate them in a in a manner where they're able to do well because, uh, like how. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I mean, the kind of confidence that was injected to them was simply because of the kind, the way uh, Harman was able to handle her bowlers because sometimes what happens is uh, uh, when you when you have that many number of bowlers, you tend to lose your rhythm as a fast bowler. So she was able to handle them in such a manner that she was able to bring the best out of them. So that way, uh, uh, I mean, undoubtedly a lot of credit does go to the bowler, but also partially a lot of uh, appreciation should also go to the way that Harman has handled her bowlers because when you have a lot of options, you generally tend to uh, ignore some of them or you kind of tend to slip away. That didn't happen and that way she was able to bring the best out of all the players.